apparently, I don't know. Apparently? <laughs> apparently. Look, I need a haircut with this little chimpita over here. <laughs> okay, recording. Care, what happened? I don't even care. Ah, oh, thank you, homie. Well, we don't care about our rat's tails. <laughs> oh. I I'm just kidding. Bring up old shit. Ah, because you know that's the Mexican way. <laughs> Let me. That's uh, the Mexican way. Hello, Isle Kittens, Sile Cats and Kittens. We decided hello. to do a. Um, what was it called, Lord Racy? The. Uh, the. Bah, I didn't write it down. Toast. So it's something, something about a, the largest toast. The largest virtual toast, right? Yes. So it's going to be a Guinness World Record. And since the Bodega Cats do focus a lot on the alcohol, <laughs> we figured, hey, <laughs> this is a perfect opportunity to do a special that we're going to try to keep it short. But you know, when we say that, it ends up being long. But don't you prefer that to be surprised with bigger rather than smaller? <laughs> long is better than short. <laughs> so we're waiting right now for uh, the stream to begin. We'll talk about it, but let's just get this uh, get this shit started. So testing, testing, one, two, three, test, test, one, two, one, two. Que onda, way? We are the Bodega Cats. <laughs> and it's lit. And this is very informal. We don't got our microphones or nothing, but it's a special occasion. And, or nothing. Uh, a little bit of entertainment, I.O. Kittens. Let me just do a little bit of this. Because I wouldn't be my obnoxious self without my uh, Rasta horn. But anyway, um, so it's Flaviar's Guinness World Record live stream toast. So we're going to toast in a few minutes. And supposedly it's going to break the Guinness World Record of uh, live stream toast, which is such a great idea. I told Loris, I, I told Lorisi, this is our bag. This is totally our bag. So let's fucking do it. And um, uh, what was the other thing that? Well, besides the fact that we like the drinks, I got a like the drinks. Got the myself drinks. a whiskey. Whiskey. Mm. Whiskey on the rocks. I got a neat. And also a beer, just in case. <laughs> so, Larissi, let me start by telling you this. I had a, it's not a quiz, it's not a, it's a challenge. Uh-oh. Um, a challenge. Did you know, or how do you feel about, see, I don't even know, this is how uncool I am, that how do you feel, you know, is the 3rd of December? Yes. You know what that means? And I, it's the 3rd of okay. December, and, and I, I still, uh, I still remember the 3rd of December, me and your sweater. <laughs> okay, so this is what happened, bro. Yesterday what? on TikTok, I saw, I saw it was trending 3rd of December, and I was just like, the hell does that mean? And I was, you know, usually I know what's up. So I was completely out of the loop. I had no idea what it was about. So I was like, I, and I kept seeing it. So I was like, I have to find out. So I Google, and then it just shows you like what holidays and shit like that. So I was like, no, no, no. What does it mean when someone tell you, I can't believe it's already the 3rd of December. Oh. So it was a, it's a TikTok thing. So I was like, Lorizy's going to know and she's going to be so happy that I'm hip with TikTok. But so I looked it up and apparently it's a day where, well, it's taken from the song Heather. I forgot the, the artist that whose uh, song it is, but apparently it's a day where you ask someone out and they can't tell you no. That's what Urban Dictionary said, but it, you offer... <laughs> your sweater because in the song it says that it's the third of december me wearing your sweater <laughs> so i was like let me put a sweater today for Larissi and tell her that even though i talked a lot of shit about tiktok you know now here i am trying to be part of the trend Larissi. <laughs> i thought it was from mean girls 
<laughs> oh well there's that that one is not december it's a different date but yeah that's another one that um and also what is it we were pink on wednesdays or what yeah i don't know. something like that I, yeah but um so if you wanted to get your cardigan you i guess today's the day larisi <laughs> Um, I got it on earlier. It's freaking cold. Oh my god! I was too. What were you gonna say? Is your heater, is your heater working? Yes, they fixed it. Um, what's up with me and heaters, huh? They're gonna think it's me. But every December, it's like fucking the Arctic in your house. <laughs> I guess. Is because I already produce so much heat because of my hotness that <laughs> I couldn't even finish the joke. <laughs> You're just too hot. You're too I'm hot to handle. And the and the and the bodega is kind of like whoa, the heater explodes and shit. <laughs> you don't even know. You don't even know. Uh, what does little Wayne say? I'm so hot, you probably catch a tan around this motherfucker. <laughs> I've caught a tan already, you know. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, well, well. perhaps uh, the 3rd of December, I remember still me in your sweater. I don't even know how the song goes, bro. <laughs> but apparently it's like a big ass uh, Mm, popular song that TikTok users use for their videos. Is that true? Um, yeah. I gotta hear it to recognize it because I don't, I guess we could try to play 30 minutes of it. Let me see. 30 minutes and 30 seconds or else they'll get us. Uh, yeah, this, in my mouth. The, sa the song is called Heather. Conan Gray is the artist, okay? What? What the fuck? Is that the one? No. I no. don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me stop this song before this artist uh Now this is it, bro. There's a sweater. There's a picture of a sweater. <laughs> Third of December, me and your sweater. You said it looks better. <laughs> All right, that's it. Hopefully, I didn't pass the. Well, I'll, I'll take it off if we pass the thirty seconds. But so yeah, homie. So I guess that's the song that it's like a big deal on TikTok, and they use it. It's probably for like sad, depressive ass shit that you don't click on. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I, yeah, you know, I'm hip, but I don't know about that shit. You are, you are the Bodega Cats, um, chorus, <laughs> uh, Tic Tac correspondent. <laughs> yeah. 20, we got 21 minutes left. You're the, you're the Tic Tac correspondent. I'm the Farandula correspondent, which Farandula oh, is like. Not. And in Spanish is kind of like, uh, ooh, this little chimpita is bugging me, bro. So if I go like this, and it needs to be... Don't even worry, bro. I think you're... There, look, that's better. I didn't really want to see it when I turned, you know? I had to mirror the camera for YouTube so that people can read. And I don't know what's happening, honestly. I, You know, I have a couple complaints about Flaviar. I'm joining this, oh, and I'm going to tag them. And I'm going to show them that we've actually been free promotion for them. But I'm getting sick and tired like of them. April? April? How, didn't we start in April with that I, shit? I think you're right. Because that's when the following quarterly whatever is. But it's fucking pricey, bro. And I'm still really upset about the whole shipping situation. Why are they charging me shipping if I have a membership? And then free shipping yeah. over 60? What do you really want me to be an alcoholic and die? It's like, <laughs> come on, bro, you know? And then you can say, well, I guess because I am, I'm not going to buy three bottles because they'll be gone 
I'm not going to say how soon because I also don't want the Isle Cats and Kittens to judge me, but pretty soon they will be done. No judgment. <laughs> it's a no judgment zone, but you know how it is. <laughs> um, but anyway, I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to, apparently you also can take a break from Flaviar. They're like a girl, they're, they're like a really nice, expensive girlfriend. And they'll <laughs> let you take a break during the holidays that. We're taking it, we're on a break. This actually, if I take a break right now, I wouldn't have to join again until my next quarterly, um, whatever, uh, season, whatever it is, which will be April. And if you think about it, that expensive girlfriend, you're avoiding Christmas. You're, well, th well, no. depends on how much you love her. Because I'm thinking that you don't. So you're avoiding <laughs> Thanksgiving with the family. Because you don't want to meet the family because you don't even want to be in that bitch's life. You're avoiding Christmas because you got to buy her a gift. You're oh. avoiding New Year's. Not people like you and I, but most people like to be single on New Year's because there's before COVID, people could be outside. And remember, were you there when that guy tried to kiss me for New Year's? I was totally not expecting it, bro. He's just like, I, he's, he thought we were having, like, he's like, oh, I thought we hit it off. I was like, I thought we just became homies. We were on way different pages. But yeah, like, as soon as, like, fucking uh, midnight hit, he goes over and leans over for the kiss. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa my brother, what happened here? <laughs> this is no. kisses. Yeah. No. I was like, I'll kiss him on the cheek. But, and then I was, I remember now I was with someone that was on a date. So I was alone, essentially. And I guess he thought, perfect. I don't want her to be lonely, poor thing. And I'm like, nah, I'm actually all right. Thank you, sir. But uh, so sure. you avoid a New Year's with the, with the lady, with the expensive lady. Because also, if she's an expensive lady, New Year's is going to cost you. There's no way she's cool with, with just going to a house party or anything like that, right? You go to a club, you spend the money. So, and then finally, um, Valentine's Day, you avoid there another you gift. And so it's perfect Hours. for me to take a break from Flaviar right now. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. There you go. It's good. Shout out to um, Total Wine. Is that like a big franchise, like uh, in other states or what? Or no? Yeah, huh? I think they have it in plenty of other states. I was going to do Total Wine, but I maybe tomorrow. I well, get paid I put, tomorrow, so. Oh, I got paid um, uh, Monday. I got paid Monday, but I'm already broke. But anyway, that's besides the point. That's uh, the story <laughs> of my life. You know I was, what I was thinking, bro? We should, cre we should create cash apps. And... If the Isle Cats and Kittens want to donate, <laughs> we can donate to us. <laughs> we should also create a, uh, what's that called? Fans only? That there you go. Used for like the ladies that would get naked in front of the camera. We won't get naked in front of you. Unless Larissa wants to. She's welcome to. But. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to scare people too much. Why would you scare anybody? Remember we talked about last podcast. There's different taste for different flavors. So that's true, but I'm just extra. So <laughs> people like the extra, extra, bro. Extra, extra. There's more to love. Right. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Oh this. man. Um, but anyway, um, I order um well I bought well, I shouldn't say anything because I'm going to post this. It's a, a Christmas thing. And um, and then some beer. And, and then I, some beer. I order it for, I order it, I order it yesterday for me to pick up today because I was lazy to go last night. And they sent me an email like an hour or less than an hour said that um, it was ready. So I was like, oh shit. And they're like, we're earlier than expected. And I'm like, ooh, I was tempted to go. But I'm like, if I go, I knew that I was going to stop at McDonald's and buy me something. And I didn't want to. So I was like, no, let me go in the morning. And that way I don't feel tempted to stop at Mickey D's. Because my God, bro, even this sweater uh, was kind of hard to tight on the bottom. Like the bottom part is open. 
because it's like, ah. Uh, we are now, if uh, I, Oketits, and cats are keeping track, we are now, by we, I mean Peaches, myself, and the other crazy bitches up here, we are at... Thirty pounds, thirty pounds, bro. So, I gotta be honest with you, bro. I kind of like it. I kind of like this belly. Why? I'm attached to it. I'm getting really attached to it. <laughs> I think I'm gonna be sad if I lose it. I feel um, nothing fits, but I feel good. Does that make sense? Yeah, I I, I think. I think you gotta love yourself who whoever you are, you know. Don't don't look at expectations of, of society and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, and well, my mother keeps telling me it's not healthy because I'm a small person, so I can't be carrying all this extra in this like just a tire here, you know? But I notice uh my butt got a little bit too. I see it on my face a little bit. My arms. So I guess I've always wanted to be. Did I ever tell you? I don't think I've ever told you this, Lorisi. This is a gem. Did uh -oh. I ever tell you that I kind of had a fascination and was obsessed with becoming a bodybuilder when I was 21? <laughs> I know, but wait, wait. <laughs> so oh, wait. Wait. I. I just, I thought I wanted that, but I knew it was not possible because I was 120 pounds at 5'7". So when I was working at, uh, I worked at T-Mobile for a while and I met this, um, this girl, we, we went skiing. That's another good story I should tell one day, the first time and only time I've been skiing and she took her boyfriend and her boyfriend was about the same size like me. It, he was like about my height, same small body frame. And he tells me that he has a twin sister. And I was like, okay, whatever. So we went ski, whatever, whatever. At the When we were ready to come back um, to Albuquerque, he's telling me uh, uh, that his sister is a bodybuilder. And I was like, wait a minute. I was like, you guys are twins? And he's like, yeah. Um, I know what you're thinking. She used to be like me body wise, but she's no longer like that. So I was like, it's possible for me to be a bodybuilder. Oh my God. So my world lit up. And then my mother is like, absolutely not. But anyway. <laughs> so, so now that I'm getting bigger in my arms, I've always wanted to have like big old fucking dikey arms. And I can see that I couldn't because if I work out, they just get like Madonna's, which is gross. It's just skinny fit, you know? Well, I don't know. Some people think that's hot. I don't, I'm sorry if there's some IO cats and kittens that are skinny fit. I'm not saying you're gross. No. I'm saying no. I feel gross. I want, um, I want to be like Megan the Stallion. Oh, shit. I want to be in Megan the Stallion. Oh. <laughs> No, that that's because I, I already have the booty. I just need to get rid of some of the excess on my, you know, torso. Well, yeah. Well, um Well, well. We gotta make sure you do squats so you don't lose your booty though. Yes. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to like work out in a way where you build muscle. That way I don't lose all this goodness that I have going on. I think it's goodness. Yeah, I don't want to lose my goodness. I just want to just, like, trim some of the excess situation. Yeah. If you feel comfortable. And, um, right. yeah, for sure, little racy. Whatever makes you happy. Makes me happy. Oh, oh. Okay, we got uh, 14 minutes. Let me make sure. 10 minutes. Okay, we'll see. Ooh, we'll see. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I don't know if I should it's wait here. Time. Let me see what time is it. 10 minutes. Yeah, it's going to start okay. exactly at 10, what was it, 9 p.m. Eastern time. So it's like, 
how they say that there's still 90 minutes to go, Larissa is falling asleep, and they're still like, they said 9 Eastern, not 7. But it turns out I had to refresh, refresh the page. Um, pish, pish. So how much alcohol do you think you've drank this year? Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a lot. Um, my liver is, it like lays beside me and says, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> it's me. Hello. Are you going to give me a break? <laughs> What's that, Adele but song? I think the water. So. It's singing to you like that Adele song. <laughs> hello. Is it me? Or what? No, that's, that's rich. <laughs> Lionel Rich. Is it me you're looking for? I can see it in your liver, alcoholic liver eyes. <laughs> it's the roses of the liver. My mom says she can tell an alcoholic by their nose. I'm like, really? we're not. We're not. I was like, I was gonna say we're not Pinocchio. I mean, they're not Pinocchios. <laughs> Does she say that I'm an alcoholic? Well, I never asked her. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if she says that, then automatically it means I am too. So. She can't be talking trash nose? about her daughter. <laughs> what does what does the nose say about the not alcoholic? I don't know. We gotta ask her next time because she's just always like, didn't like blah blah blah, so and so what like, you can see it in his nose. I'm like, wait, what? And I try to compare noses of like two gentlemen that she's talked about, and I'm like, they're not the same. So and then one browns, one's white, so it's not even a color. So, yeah, we're, we'll, we'll have to ask her, Larissa. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just telling you what my mom said. <laughs> I was like, hello. Your, mom's, your mom scares me. <laughs> <laughs> she is a Catholic Mexican mom. <laughs> but she's not scary. She looks like me without the... She's like me without the ridiculousness. <laughs> An obnoxious right. laugh. I don't want her to think badly of me no she will never she would never but speaking about your liver uh so yes. did you know that alcohol causes cancer when did that happen i felt so stupid when i read that i saw it somewhere and i was like wait a minute what so i started researching and i'm like everything causes cancer everything causes cancer probably COVID's gonna cause cancer i mean yeah everything you're right but how is alcohol like cancer in the it didn't say it was the liver i'm like why Do you I know don't know that? I, go ahead sorry i think cigarettes cause cancer in the lungs everything causes cancer even my sister she she stopped smoking she ate oatmeal every morning she and she got leukemia so <sighs> bro my grandmother she never she didn't smoked drink. never drank and she got cancer yeah that's why i live my life to the fullest <laughs> 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 and also because i'm depressed and have anxiety and all kinds of other issues upstairs anyway <laughs> well did you see that positivity what? Yes, positivity. Rainbows. The uh, it, bro, Love. my life is a rainbow. My aura is rainbow. Look, I got a rainbow flag oh, somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, did you I know? Ordered a, I ordered a, a big, a big, a big, big thing. What do you call Victor? it? Whiteboard. Oh, <laughs> oh, you did? Yeah. Ah, oh, cool, homie. You gonna put it where? Behind me. Ah, okay. Hey, we can and manage. I want to do a green screen. Oh. With green screens. Well, what are you going to do the green screen if you're going to have the border? Why are you going to do the border if you're going to have the green screen? Well, I can do both. How? I, I just want to draw stuff like you, like your skeletons and your unicorns. And... <laughs> I actually do not have a unicorn, but that's a good idea. Thank you. Well... <laughs> I, don't I know am if the I can unicorn. Draw a unicorn, but I want to draw just like the bodega cats. Bear you know. cats. 
I'm tired of my bookcase here. Ah, uh, but my question is, if you get the board, What's your question? my question is the following. If you get the board and it's back there, why do you need the green screen for? And if you get the green screen, then why do you need the whiteboard for? Well, I just don't want you to, because I know you're going to go and, and buy two boards and two <laughs> multiple shapes. No. The, the whiteboard is for your situational stuff. And the, you can get a green screen just like with green felt and put it over the whiteboard and do like, you know. Like skits or like for like moments and shit? Moment, so you're gonna, you're gonna be really active then, Larissa. We're really like stepping our our game when it comes to podcasting, bro. I know. I want to step. I want to step our game. I think we are. I think we are. Now we got proper lighting. Um, but yeah. Wait until I this bitch the, has COVID is over, bro. And you know, fuck COVID. We can record fuck, together. Fuck it up the ass. Yes. Yes, fuck it up the ass the way that fucking shit fucked me in the ass the other day. <laughs> you know what listening. I was thinking? What? I was thinking of Cardi B. Okay. And you know how she has those nails? Yep. And, you know, she was wiping her ass and she, she said she poked her ass. Oh, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure she's had plenty of stuff go in there. You think she has... A boo what is a bidet? Oh fuck yeah. Cardi B yeah. with those nails, how do you wipe her ass? How do you do anything in those nails? And she says she feels weird not having them. And then before there were those pointy ones that most women wear, then they became longer, and now she has those really long ones that are kind of squarish. That's like how do you do shit with those and things? She's She's got a big ass, like me. Big like, old booty. You have to get in there to get it all clean. Even a even a bidet is not gonna clean that crap up. So, anyways, maybe she has. Maybe she's so rich she has someone help her. <laughs> maybe someone, someone spreads her ass? them. Well, the bidet goes in. <laughs> I don't know. She seems really down to earth, so I doubt it. But she definitely has a bidet. There's no way that you 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 have uh, some type of money and you don't have a bidet. I I just think about the nails, like because I I have no nails, but I'm thankful I have no nails. So, anyways, I think about uh, how nasty the nails get. Good. She, she puts said, her finger. And, she puts her finger in Offset's mouth, and he's all. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> that was disgusting. She said she did, like, stab her ass one time. She. On I'm surprised she doesn't stab like or like poke her own eyes or something. You know, like, I don't know. That's a good question, <laughs> but I think women that have those nails, they get used to it because. I think it was her that I that I saw in an interview or something saying that I think Uncle Charla asked her and she said that she feels weird without him, like she can't do things without him. Mm. Instead of the you know other way around. But we got sixty seconds here, and um, let's see what's up. Let's see what happens here, homie. Hey, Via. Okay, so it says. Uh, uh connecting uh, I guess it's going on now because some people are talking they're chatting I I don't like it when they have comments like that because it, you can't possibly read every single one and then what you go back to read them after this is over I don't care but it is this is really white so hopefully we can kind of like how can I focus this bitch focus Focus. Focus. No, not that. That's not working. I don't know. Uh, 35 seconds, hopefully it gets a little bit. I think if I move out of the way or something. No, no, no. You don't want to move out. 
2320. Okay. Well, well, let's see what well. we let, let's see what happens here. And uh, damn it, I had something else I had to tell you, but it's fine. We have Saturday to talk. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Can you hear? Brad Jeppa. Good evening, planet Earth, or morning, or afternoon, or whatever the case may be. Welcome to Flaviar's world's largest virtual toast. I'm your host this evening, Brad Jaffe, spirits writer, professional drinker, New York Giants fan. But We're professional, professional drinkers! drinkers. <laughs> yes. And fuck the Giants. Just kidding, I'll cuts and kitchens. And all you have to do right, that's easy enough. Uh, so our producer, Thad, is going to set a countdown clock right now to 10 minutes. Thad, Ten uh, minutes. you can get us going with that. And uh, let's talk a little bit more about this toast uh, that marks the end of Flaviar's month-long craft spirit celebration. And what a month it's been for drinkers of drams. We've been sharing and tasting top-notch liquids from across the United States and beyond. Top -notch we have a liquid. lot of prizes to give away, too, tonight. Uh, so while we wait for a few more last-minute stragglers to Look enter, at that bottle over here, clear, bro. Hopefully every Fucking huge of the planet. Uh, let's get a little Damn. bit of housekeeping sorted out. Now we're gonna uh, patch in uh, Michael Emprick, who is an adjudicator with Guinness World Records, and he's just gonna go over some very quick rules because we're very official. I got all dark all of a sudden. Making history, as we said. So, Michael, what you got for us? Hey, Brad. I'm <laughs> so excited to be here. So. Your viewers may not know it, but this is an official Guinness World Records title attempt for the most viewers for a toasting live stream on YouTube. Um, this is a new record, and whenever we have a new record, we set a minimum. The minimum for this record is 1,500 viewers for the live stream. And specifically, the live stream has to be related to toasting. So things like, what makes a good toast? What, uh, what's the history of toasting? those sort of uh, little bits and pieces that viewers may not know. So I'm really excited okay. to be here and see where you end up tonight. Awesome. Michael, <laughs> thank you so much for uh, adjudicating as an adjudicator should do. And now to, uh, <laughs> to go to a toast. You ready, homie? So, um, you know, yep. I would like to thank everybody. You know, the challenges of 2020 have been nothing short of monumental. That's for uh, sure. It's made the notion of camaraderie, even in the virtual space, all the more precious. So I truly cherish this opportunity to bring folks together for a brief moment of shared celebration while raising awareness and funds for a worthwhile cause. Thank you, Garrett. And <laughs> let's be honest, breaking a Guinness World Record is kind of badass too. So this is true. here's to being together. Oh, and fuck you, 2020. Hey, salud, homie. There we go. That's a weird moment i'm used to i'm gonna clink, clink with you here happens. put your glass close um, so for those of you that there you go <laughs> Bob 2020. Bob 2020. this right here is the lorisi and this right here is the peaches, it's the peaches. <laughs> well no we're gonna close real quick and um this was a quick special guinness world record live live stream largest toast i feel like i'm saying my company's name like um and we were part of it apparently there were other new mexicans involved we want to thank you isle cats and cats if you were toasting with us then if not you can toast with us um whenever you watch or listen to this i am 54 peaches Larizzi, the smoker in the house. We are the Bodega Cats.